Hey, it's Mark Keane here, and I'm going to show you how to transition from PowerShell IAC across to Visual Studio Code. Now, if you're like me and have you have been using PowerShell for quite some time, PowerShell IAC is uh, is very easy to use. You get very familiar with it with a lot of tricks. You can highlight bits of text like I am here and hit F8 on the keyboard and it basically runs that highlighted piece of code and it displays the output down the bottom of the screen. Or you can hit this button here and essentially it does the same thing and it displays the output on the screen. Now, if we minimize PowerShell IAC and go across to Visual Studio Code with the same exact code and hit F8, it does nothing. And likewise, where do we see the output on the screen? So if we go View, Output, and over here, we don't have an option to see any PowerShell output. So this is a, a brand new vanilla installation of Visual Studio Code. Now to get the PowerShell features in Visual Studio Code, what we need to do is we need to install the PowerShell extension for Visual Studio Code. Now to do that, it's quite easy. We simply navigate to the Visual Studio Marketplace and we search for the PowerShell extension for Visual Studio Code. Now it's quite as simple as running this simple code here in Visual Studio, which installs the extension. So control P and then paste this in and hit enter. And if we wait for it, it'll go through and give us the option to install. Installing now. Okay, it's done. So we reload the window. Okay, so we're reloading Visual Studio code with the PowerShell extension. Okay, you'll still notice that the PowerShell code is not highlighted in PowerShell colors. It's just plain text. And if we highlight that hit F8, it does virtually nothing. So what we need to do is we need to tell Visual Studio Code that, all right, this code is PowerShell. Now, because we opened up a new file and pasted it in, it doesn't know. But if we opened up a file that was a PowerShell script, like a PS1 extension, it would automatically put it in PowerShell mode for us. So we go down the bottom right hand corner where it's got language selection. We bring up this and type in the word PowerShell. We select it and all of a sudden it changes to the right colors for PowerShell. Now, if we highlight this and hit F8, it'll run it. Now, we can't view anything at the moment because we don't have the output window on the screen. So if we click on view and click on the output window, on the right hand side here, we click on the drop down and we select PowerShell output. So if we click on the little icon on the right hand side here, it's got clear output. Again, we'll highlight this piece of code. We'll hit F8. And there is the output on the screen, just like in PowerShell ISC, exactly the same. So there we go. Making the transition from PowerShell ISC to Visual Studio Code, it's not that painful. It's quite easy once you know the little tricks of the trade.